29 forecast. Wrapping up an active evening of isolated severe weather. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. We had a tornado warned thunderstorm north of the city of Charlottesville, especially into the Holly Mead area, extending off to the east. And this great photo comes to us from Caroline Brand at Pantops looking off to the north. She saw and captured this wall cloud. That is the rotating part of the supercell thunderstorm. A supercell thunderstorm is a rotating severe thunderstorm producing hail, damaging wind gusts, and it's rotating. At any point, this is where the tornado could have dropped. Right now, I'm not seeing any official reports of a tornado, but definitely it was an ominous sight as that moved to the south and east towards areas of uh, Keswick. Keep those photos coming when you can do so safely. Send us your storm related photos. If you see it, snap it and send it through the Storm Team 29 weather app. And in that first forecast for Monday, it's all about the heat. Not expecting severe weather on Monday, but it's going to be much hotter. Temperatures in the 70s at dawn, patchy fog, a quiet midday pushing 90 in the low 90s at 5 p.m. Now there could be a rogue shower or storm form in the heat and humidity, but nothing all that organized. Looking at the radar recap now this morning we had a downpour and thunderstorm as I talked about last night we would have a daily double rain in the morning and then a storm chance in the evening that moved away by mid morning and then here at the end of the day we had a couple of supercell thunderstorms one south of Palmyra and one over northern Albemarle County and you can see how they took a right turn that's a, a classic track that these storms take where they begin to rotate and now live radar is showing the storms pushing away from our region. Palmyra, Louisa, and you're seeing a leftover downpour, but nothing severe. The severe weather risk has ended here tonight. Just a leftover shower shifting away from Charlottesville, moving away from Louisa, Fluvanna counties, more towards the Richmond Metro over the next couple of hours. But the atmosphere has pretty much stormed itself out. Now, no official reports as of yet of, of damage in Northern Albemarle County, but sometimes there's a, there's a lag time and getting these storm reports into the weather center, but we do have reports of damage in southern sections of Fluvanna County in and around the areas of uh, Fork Union and into Brimo Bluff. A few reports of trees down due to uh, damaging wind gusts from thunderstorms. It's an active weather pattern, folks. We're going to have spokes of energy head our way from the northwest on the edge of a heat wave, and these storms like to ride along the edge of that heat wave, so already a severe weather risk going into tomorrow night and Tuesday for our area. But future cast shows a quiet weather pattern into your Monday. Most of the storms will stay to our northwest and there's that ridge of high pressure with storms, clusters of them riding along it right through the middle and end of the week. But the heat wave will end on Friday forecast overnight lingering shower and thunder will exit low 60s and low 70s. Humid conditions on Monday with highs in the upper 80s and low 90s. Only a stray storm seven day forecast heat wave and more storms. We could have waves of storms through the middle part of the week, which could turn severe. So something you'll have to want to keep checking back throughout the week here in the Weather Center. And so far, so good Friday in the weekend. We should begin to dry out and turn more seasonable next weekend. So it's these high temperatures and the humidity mixed in with the thunderstorms mm -hmm. that we really need to watch out for. We get that with that wind shear, the difference in direction mm -hmm. and speed with height. It's a classic setup to get some active weather around yeah, here. We'll be on it. We'll be on the air if we mm -hmm. see anything. All right. Thank you, Josh.